Hey internet family, I am camping at the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. I've been here for two nights. I'm just about to leave. This is the spot that I was camping on. I didn't even know about this desert. I was in San Diego and I was looking for a spot to get out on the land. And I found this state park, which I don't usually come this far south. But it's awesome. And it's winter time right now. Today is December 7th. And so this is the time to be here because some of the flowers are blooming. And once you're out here for a while, once your eyes are looking at the natural light spectrum for a while, everything gets really bright and the colors get really intense and it's nice. So just reminding you guys, it's easy to get out into nature. I just car camped. It was fine. One person drove by the entire time I was here. Now I see one other RV over there at another campsite on this road. There are many, 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 many spots to be in this place. There are some more conventional camping sites, and there are some dispersed camping, which is what this is called, or free camping, or leave no trace camping, which is what I prefer. And so I know a lot of y'all are talking about how intense the world is and what's going on in the world. And I just want to remind you, that's just the human world. There's a whole lot going out, going on out here. Like this place has no idea what's going on politically. <laughs> and it's okay. Has no idea what's going on with any of the human stuff. And it's so important to remember that this is the actual world. All the stuff going on with the people and the drama, that's just a very temporary layer. So it depends on what you want to be. Something else I've been noticing lately is the is the obsession with busyness and productivity and getting things done, which are just half of them are arbitrary things to get done so you feel like you're doing something. And it's deep in our culture, through academia, through business, through medical, through entrepreneurship let's just have empty meetings and empty meetings that kind of thing so I just want to remind you guys that it's important to go with what feels right inside of you one thing I've been reminded is that had I lived any other kind of life than this life I might be super drained thinking about how much alone time I need and I'm sure that's true for more of us than we realize because how would you know unless you're alone so just reminding y'all to know that your power and your energy is for yourself and nobody else. And feel free to take as much time off as you need to. Because one thing that I learn over and over and over again is, yeah, I might be tired. I might not be super productive. And sometimes I'll doubt, wait, am I just lazy? And then I'll remember, no, when I'm rested, I can't stop making stuff. I can't stop doing stuff. I think that's true for a lot of y'all too. It's just that we never get to actually rest in this culture. And truly resting is a rebellion. So, remind you to rest. Remind you to do what you have to do to keep your cup full. To step away when you need to. And to really, really notice what your energy does when you make decisions. When you decide to be around people in situations doing certain things. Do you feel drained and tired afterward? Or do you feel full of energy? Even if you do feel tired, is it good tired, like you got a good workout and you're going to wake up tomorrow even stronger? Or is it you're going to have to recover? That is a fail-safe for me. Sometimes I listen to it, sometimes I don't, depending on what's going on. But energy doesn't lie. And at this time, it's important more than ever to be careful about what we're doing because a lot is going on right now. A lot is happening in the unseen realms, so let's make sure that we're embodying that which we wish to embody and being as proper as we can with the type of people that we're choosing to be every day, not one day when we have all the things that we want, not one day when we've proved ourselves in whatever ways or manifested the thing that we want or whatever, but today, but now, because we're living our lives now under these conditions, in this culture. So what kind of people are we choosing to be? Reminder, get off grid. Get your get your food, get your snacks, get your books, whatever it is you want to bring, and get out into nature. It's worth it. Find yourself some dispersed camping. It's free. You don't even have to pay to do it. And it's so wonderful to sleep under the stars, you guys. All right, sending lots of love from the Anza Borrega Desert.